Greetings, Facebook family, friends, and the world. This is Mikael Eric Harris, better known as the Juice, also known as the Alkaline Water Guy. Um, I was just in the shower. Right now, it just it's about it's after twelve thirty a.m. in the midnight, middle of the night. <laughs> so I just got out the shower. I came in from outside, uh, make some sales today, and um, did pretty good. It's one of the uh, better days today, and yesterday is one of the better days. Uh, matter of fact, this is right after I just did this. Um, um, what well, yesterday I did um, this. Um, this clip called uh, Suburbs and Cities, Suburbs and Cities, uh, and a co-worker of mine named Chris, uh, I actually came, well, he came up with some, info, uh, well, he came with a thought that I believe the creator, that the universe gave him, and we ended up getting that conversation, we just jumped on the right then, but I just got out the shower, and it's 12, like I said, it's 12 something a.m., and as I was in the shower, well, before I got in the shower, I was on Facebook for a moment, and um, I seen that a friend of mine out of New York was in the hospital. He ended up going to the uh, to the movies to go see Black Panther. Let me put this down. He went to the movies to go see Black Panther, and he started having some heart troubles or, or short uh, respiration uh, situ uh, situation was going on. So I called, but when I called, the doctor was there. So um, I just want to say. Um, Peace up, bro. You know who I'm talking to. I don't know if you want me to put your name out there. So I'm just going to tell you peace up to you, bro. Glad you're doing all right. And I uh, hope you come on out with speedy recovery. And hope everything is going well. And while I'm on that, uh, I guess this is why this, 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 this subject came up of tools. And that's what I'm going to call this subject, tools. This, this, um, the name of the heading of this, of this clip is going to be called tools. T O O L S, and the reason why I'm saying this is because um, let me just move this out the way real quick. The reason why I'm saying this is because I just want to make some clarity on some things. Not saying this with the brother, what happened with the brother, or this is the cause of what happened with the brother, and nothing like that. But I just want to make some clarity on some things so we can have some good understanding, overstanding of some understanding. Uh, about things that we do today and the things that we use and what they're used for. This is the reason why I wanted to use the word tools, you know, or use this label as tools. First, I'd like to say, thank you, creator of the universe, creator of heaven, earth, and sea, and all the enemies, the creator of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the creator of Israel, the creator of the of Israel, to so give me wisdom, knowledge, and information. Life, health, and strength, food, shelter, and clothing. May we be happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise in all that I do. Help the sick and afflicted, the ones that need clothing, or should I say the ones that's hungry, the ones that's homeless, and the one out there that needs your will and your help. Please let us be a lead lights that will guide them and help them. And help them in your way, in your word, and in their mind to wake and grow and accomplish your will that you will have that will go out through this earth. Meaning everyone will have your spirit that will be upon this earth. We thank you, praise you in all things. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, creator. Thank you, all of all. Hallelujah. With that being said, um, <laughs> young Pharaoh right there. Um, yeah, um, uh, like I said, in the heading of the, uh, of this clip, I'm calling tools. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we have to realize, and I'm saying this in order for us to get a better understanding of, of what things are we should, that we have, what they're used for. Um, when we have tools in the, in the, in the mail, in not mailbox, in the toolbox, right? We use the tools for different things. We use the tools to work on the house. We use a hammer. Uh, you use a um, hammer, pliers, screwdrivers. These are tools that we use for certain purposes. Now, the whatever the purpose is for, that's what the tools are made for. And by using those tools for those different things, we accomplish the task that we are using the tools for. And the reason why I'm saying this is because, um, and you know, you know me, I'm spiritual. So this is the reason why I'm saying this in order to get you to see a better spiritual understanding of what's going on today, 
what we're growing on and how to use the tools that's given. That's the key. How to use the tools that's given for us to see better, not to worship the tools. We have to see better. We have to see and, and understand what these tools are placed here for. And by these tools being placed here, we have to use them for their purpose. That's the key. Using the tools for their purpose, not worshiping the tools, if you understand what I'm getting at. And if not, hopefully by the end of this video, you will understand or understood what I was getting at. And um, one thing I'm going to start off with, Black Panther. I'm a, I, 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 I don't want to... I, well, I know me, so I just know I, how I have to work things out the way it comes. And a lot of times I might need to go to the, the greater aspect before I can work from a little. So I'm going to take the greater aspect, then I'm going to come back and work from small up. If that's the way the, the spirit guides me and leads me. But what I'm going to say is this. I'm going to use Black Panther for, uh, for, a, for, uh, um, for an example. Um, I did a couple of... A couple of um, a couple of clips. One was called "Can You See," uh, and I was talking about Ragnarok and Justice League, and I was talking about the leading up to Black Panther. Uh, I did one called "Wisdom," you know, and then "Wisdom." I don't think I read. I read. I, I'm just gonna put it in here since you know if everybody getting a chance. To, I didn't. It's one thing that I meant to do that I didn't do. As insane, I did put it in the in the uh, in the text because I always put text to my information when I'm sharing, and I didn't tell everyone you will find wisdom and the understanding of the reason why not well the understanding of the reason why I was sharing with you wisdom in the first place on that page. I didn't give you the um, the information of. The reason why, and in wisdom, you'll find in Proverbs chapter 8 on through to uh, chapter 9 and 12, chapter uh, 8, verse 1 through chapter 9, verse 12, it gives you the information about wisdom. And in Proverbs, when talk about she, that's what it's talking about. But I just wanted to give you that at this point. But back to tools, which that book is a tool, uh, the Quran is a tool. The Hammurabi code is a tool. The Ma'at is a tool. Excuse me, the Circle 7 is a tool. All these different spiritual writings, spiritual information, they're tools to get closer to your spirituality. The books that we're reading, they're tools. You don't worship the book. These are things that we actually use. Thank you all might for letting me get this when I was in the shower on thinking on the Black Panther, as well as what I'm talking about right now. But what I'm saying is you use these for tools to be, to better yourself and the things you need. When you go to school, you use the books and stuff for tools in order to learn the knowledge you need to use them throughout life. And I guess I'm going this way. When I need to get the Black Panther, I'm going to share with you why. But wherever I'm going, I'm going the way that it needs to go. So, you know, sometimes I'm veering by. If I plan to do something and I'm going another way, that's where... That's where I'm being led. So, and I just have to share it like that. So, as I was saying, the tools that we use. This here is a pH tester. This here, as you can see the company that I'm with. This here is a, a chlorine tester. These are tools that I use to test the waters. To see the level of the level in the water. Of the pH level in the water that is. So by testing, using these as a tool, I'm using these for the purpose to find out the level in the water if it's acid, if it's neutral, or if it's alkaline. And by learning or by knowing first, you have to learn to use the tools in order to use them to in order to use them effectively. So in order to use the tools, you have to know how to use your tools in order to use them effectively to know what you're talking about, to know the things that you're saying, the things that you're doing. You have to know your product. You have to know your craft. You have to have tools to use to build or to complete your task for the craft that you know or that you need to do. So... And I'm glad it's just coming out this way because it needs to be said and understood what people can really understand what these tools are used for. Some people talk against the tools. People talk against the Bible. The Bible is nothing but a book. 
that has words. You have to get into that book and use those tools. The words, is the, which is the words across the pages, is the tool to get you to understand or in, well, really understand before you can understand what you need to know. Same with the ma'at. A lot of people are out here talking, 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 and you don't even know the ma'at. A lot of y'all out here just talking against something you don't know about yourself, which is where you are. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with the Quran. A lot of people look at it and a lot of people are believing what they've been taught to um, when, it, when it comes to killing and, and uh, doing certain things that you wouldn't want them to do to you. But this is a relig this the religious point of it. You know, that's the religious point of it. When you do something to someone else that you don't want them to do to you, that's from a religion. And you don't know who put it. Remember, no words I put there. But when you become spiritually aware, you know what you should or should not do when it comes to someone else. And unless a spirit within you, but you have to know that spirit. You have to know the spirit that's dealing with you from when it's talking to you from the inside. You have to know it. And sometimes, you know, some people are so gullible, you'll go with anything, whatever spirits say. You have to know the, you have to know from the tools that you're using to know if it's something that's coming to you is a, I don't like saying negative and positive because both of them have a purpose. Negative has its purpose. Positive has its purpose. And I don't want to really go off. That's a whole nother subject because I can go into alkalinity, which is a negative, but it's better for you for the inside of the body and positive, which is a which is bad for you for inside the body because well I'm, I'm there somebody who has said it acid is is causes sickness but it's a positive it has a positive uh it has a positive um uh, I don't know what you word to use for that but it's a positive uh I wouldn't say vibration frequency or I don't know the name I'm using when I need to use right now but it has a, a oh, I can't think of the name. But it, it, it's on a positive level. It, uh, and alkaline is on a negative level, which is better for you in the body. So everything has its purpose. But we tend to use negative and positive for a good and bad. But really, they have a purpose to them. So I don't really like using those when it comes to it. But in our understanding or understanding, I use that because that's what's needed in order for you to understand what's a better or for a worse. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's what I should be saying. What's better and what's worse. So um, whatever tools you use is good. Th those words in those books, in those uh, scriptures, in those scrolls, in those uh, uh, the, the, the uh, spiritual writings, what's the, those are tools for you to use to better yourself, to better yourself in your life, in the life that you're living, in the, your lifestyle, in helping others and building. And the more you do that, those tools are helping you to engulf yourself because I shouldn't have to walk around in the Bible all my life. I'm just going to say on this aspect or just for this uh, example, that Bible is supposed to become a part, that tool is supposed to become a part of you. When that tool become a part of you, then you don't need the book. If you remember at the end of, um, uh, <laughs> the book of Enoch. The Book of Enoch, when uh, uh, I think that's the name of it. Book of Enoch, when um, Denzel Washington was pl was playing the um, the um, the blind man, which you never knew he was blind until the end of the movie, because the the book the Bible was in Braille. Uh, you notice that he didn't have the Bible no more, but it was a part of him. He was the walking Bible because he knew it from beginning to end. This is what your I'm saying your because I don't know where you are and, and whether you want to go to the Bible and read or not. Because it's nothing but information. It all depends on what you get out of it. The more that you always, I did this with my daughter. I told her to hold the pillow. And I said, pull it. So me and her was pulling. I said, when you're doing this, you're going against the grain. You know, when you're pulling, you're going against something. I said, give in to it. Give it. Give it up. And you'll see how easy it is to deal with the situation. So... I'm not saying get it into certain things. You have to know what to give into. I'm not saying give into everything, but you have to know what to give into. And this is the reason why you have to know the tools that you use. If you know the two, you know, not believe, not have faith. You have to know the tools that you use. And by knowing the tools that you use, you can't be had. You can't be shaken. 
Nobody can't tell you something that you don't know. Now, you may grow because we all use little cheap tools and then until we grow, start getting better tools to help our craft. So just because you got what you got, don't think that that's all what it is. You have to make sure that you got a good quality key, a good quality in what you do. That means do your diligence, do your due diligence, do your research and make sure that you know where you stand. You know what I'm saying? You have to know, not believe and stand on faith. You have to know. And even though you know you may have had some spiritual awakening, that's just something to lead you to another level. Don't stay where you are because we don't forget when you go to school, you know, you go from elementary. If you don't go to preschool or if you did go to preschool, you go to elementary then you go to what? To the next phase. You go to junior high, then high school, then the college, and then on out to the workforce. I have it goes throughout life. You grow in life. You never stay stagnant. When you stay stagnant, you're stuck. You have to grow. So in growing in life, this is how we become better as people. And we become just better all the way around. But we have to use the tools in order to become better. And the more you use your tool, the better you get. You can't just use it a little bit and put it down like, okay, I'm all right. But the more you use your tool, the better you get. Just like Michael Jackson, what Michael Jackson was with dancing or, and I don't even like saying his name because of how he is, you know, but I'm going to say it because it is what everybody know. He was an icon to everybody, which was uh, Michael Jordan. His tool was the basketball. He knew how to dribble and then he, he got better. He, got, he knew how to run, jump and everything he needed to do. You know what I'm saying? But the actual... He, the basketball was his tool, but the team was his key. His team, he had to put the, he had, he had used that. The basketball was the key tool, but the team was, was his craft. The game, which was the team, which is, was his craft. He couldn't go down there on a whole team all by himself because they'd block him every time. If a whole team got on one man, but the craft the game itself, which was him and his team. See, he can always dish the ball off and then come back to him. He can do what he needs to do. That team, the basketball was the tool, but the team was the crap. So I just wanted to put that out there just to give you an understanding of how we should grow and where we're standing. And then you understand the difference in worshiping and using tools. Now, I guess Black Panther will come last because now I'm going to go to the next phase of what I wanted to share with you. And that next phase is, uh, I'm just going to take this one on through. I'm going to try not to be long. I'm at seven, 18 minutes now. So I'm just going to take this one on through. I ain't planning on cutting this one. So just like I was going to say, you religious people out there, I am just have to hit this like this. All you people who are religious, you stuck. Then the reason why I'm saying you stuck is because you don't know the creator. When I say you don't know the creator, you don't know the all of alls. You don't know. That's And if you listen to what I said, the all of alls, the I am, the Ahaya, uh, the El, oh, everybody out there who thinks that all the things that's going on in the earth is evil and witchcraft, and uh, it all depends on how you use it. That's what I'm saying. It all depends on how you use your tool. If you think that everything has a purpose for, just like this, let me, so I can clear clarify what I'm saying. I always talk about Mercury retrograde. Now, I don't worship Mercury retrograde because I'm not always trying to say, okay, what's happening here? What's happening? No, I'm not like that. Mercury retrograde comes around a certain time, two to three times, no, three to four times in a year. And when it happens, it's a certain thing, certain phenomena, certain things happens around that time. If you don't understand how to use that information, you can, you'll be going through turmoil not knowing why. You'll be going through turmoil not knowing why. Because you don't understand the knowledge of that information. Same with numerology. Numerology helps you out with a lot of different things about yourself, the next person, and things that's going on and the things that's going on in that day. But you don't have to worship it. That's the key. These are tools to use 
for your benefit. And by using them for your benefit, you're not supposed to. Anytime you look in, in, in the book, you'll notice, man, I'm going to go ahead and get this real quick. I might have to go. No, I'm going to go ahead and stay on this. Well, I hope y'all stick with me on this because this is something I was reading last week out of here. I was reading this last week and it was something that was said. And then when I looked up what was said, when I, when I looked up what was said on them, yeah, when I looked up what was said on them, then I'm like, wait a minute now, this ain't what it said. That's what you got to start. That's what I'm saying, getting a good understanding. When you get a good understanding, then you start to understand to overstand. So in here, I, it was talking about um, in the uh, the little comment the comment area, and I don't even like doing this because it takes up time just like it's doing right now. But um, it talked about um, where we at. Right here. I'm going to take a picture of it too out of my book so you can see what I got. But I'm going to read it to you real quick. This is talking about, this is in Genesis. And this is talking about, it says, and God made, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read it real quick, but I'm going to take a, a picture of it later. It says, and God made two great lights, referred to the sun and moon. They did not appear, they're not, they did not appear a different, a different verb and say and stem, you know, in, in uh, quotations. As the dry land did in verse 9, but were actually made, I saw, say, I saw, synonyms with bara. At this time, well, I'm just going to read, I'm going to go past the other spot, say, but were actually made at this time. The creator, they say God, the creator makes it clear that he, that he, not the son, is earth's creator. And that God is not, is not dependent upon the son either for the earth's uh, material substance or for the sustaining for the staining of life you see uh, from the standpoint uh, from the standpoint of astronomy the sun and the moon are obviously not the two great lights of the universe this is the language of appearance this is the language of appearance as seen from man's viewpoint Genesis is written in ge uh, geometric, oh, sorry, geno ge uh, geocentric, I'm sorry, geocentric terms. Signs in verse 14 might refer to unusual sights in the, in the heavens, such as eclipse of the sun, rather than suggest that the creator or God uh, designed this, the celestial bodies to determine the, the destinies the destinies of individual men as modern astrology proclaim. Then they got uh, in, uh, in quotations or uh, provinces, so I say uh, in quotations, Second Kings chapter 23, 12, but when I read it, it was actually Second Kings 23 and 5. Jeremiah 19, 13, Zephaniah 1 and 5, it says where God condemns such practices. Now, and I agree with that, like when it says such practices, and then I put down there uh, of worshiping. Because when you read that, it was because they had worship and they did, um, they did, um, they made, I'm going to say pillars. Yeah, they did make pillars and stuff. But what they did, they was worshiping them. They was worshiping the sun, moon, stars, and things like that. When the key is, not to worship. You use them for their purpose. All these things are tools to use for the purpose in their time. And when I went back and read these, I seen what it was saying. It was saying that the kings was putting them up and they was worshiping them. And I don't like quoting. So I gave you what it was. And, and I even told you when right here it says 2 Kings 23 and 12. But really it's 2 Kings 22 and 5, 23 and 5. When you actually see that. But then on through here, it actually said. And then it was talking about what the creator condemns such practices. Meaning that people was practicing and worshiping, you know, they was worshiping these things. But when you practice them as in a, like when you go to school, if you was to go to school and learn about numerology, learn about astrology, learn about all these different, the same as stones, stones and crystals, which I use to help make my alkaline water. 
That's what I do. But I don't worship these things. I use them for the properties, which are tools that they have amongst them or in them in order to make my product better. And when you understand, that's what I'm saying. When you understand things, then you start to understand to overstand. So, and I'm saying that's in order to get a better understanding of what I'm sharing. So, tools are very important for your life in order to build your spirituality to grow. To get out of the, to get out of preschool, which is religion. That's preschool. Once your spirit starts to grow, you start to go into the elementary level. See, a lot of people have a um a lot of people have a spiritual encounter. I'll put it like that. They have a spiritual encounter and say, Oh, I'm called to preach. I'm called to preach. But really, that's your beginning. That was your your, as they say, that was your um your um your your timing of birth, your your uh being born again. That was your timing of getting ready to start learning. Because as I was saying, when you're born again, you're starting to know, you're starting to, you're, you're, you're rejuvenating. You're born from, from the ways of the world. You've been born from the ways of the world to a spirituality point of life. And as you start to build in your spirituality point of life, you start to understand what it is that's going on. If you stay in there and start studying. Because now you got something you know the creator is real because at a certain age, we all start seeking the creator one way or another. We start going to different religions. We start doing different things. But we start searching because we know there's something greater out there, whether or however you want to put it. There's something greater out there not realizing that, greater, that greatness is really in us. We are part of the creator. The creator is in every last one of us that have life. But it all depends on the seed that you decide to grow within you. You're either going to grow to a corrupt seed or you're going to grow into a righteous a righteous seed. But it's up to you. And if you are on a corrupt side, all you got to do is repent and be serious about it. And it will happen. You know, the creator, a lot of people know and a lot of people say, oh, the creator been, well, they'll say, God, no, he's been calling me. He's been calling me, but they decide not to make the, the choice to make that move. But it's your choice when you decide not to make the move or to make the move. If you don't give up and say, well, hey, I'm done. I'm, I've been telling you, you, don't, you can't expect for something. You can't expect for a woman to be around forever if you're treating her bad and dogging her. You can't expect for her, and I don't care how much you like her, you can't expect for her to be around. Same with a man. All of y'all women that dog y'all men, you can't expect for him to be around forever and you dogging him because you think he's going to always be there. You know something? That actually happened with one of mine. You know, I was um, I was I try to be good to the people that I'm with. But when I was gone, she really and I know she still feel that way today, but she shouldn't have been playing. I don't play games, you know, back on the subject. I didn't mean to go there, but I, it had to be serious. Right? I just tell you a serious situation right there. But uh, back on the subject. Now I can get to you. I'm glad I went. I'm glad I'm glad I went. The way that now I can get back to the, the topic that I was going to say in the beginning, which is about Black Panther, you know, and I'm talking about tools still. Black Panther is a tool that I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the way I see it now. And I'm going to tell you my point of view, because if I just say something, I'm like, oh, see, look at, no, I'm telling you from my point of view. And then most time I'm telling you, I'm telling you my point of view to get a better understanding of where and how we can grow. I don't make everything anything law. The only thing that I say is law is to me. The only thing that's law is the spiritualness and the universal uh, information that's given to us. Me myself, I'm just a vessel, just trying to share and help people see a light that they can't check, that they can't see for themselves. That's all I'm doing. So now, since we had uh, 29 minutes, we're going on 30 minutes. Now I just want to share with you about the, the uh, Black Panther, the phenomenon that's happening. And like I said, I told y'all. Uh, in a couple of my last clips, one of them, um, I was talking about Ragnarok and I was talking about uh, Justice League, which this is the, the end of a certain time, the end of a certain age. And the creator is showing this, you know, the creator is showing this and people are not picking up. Some are, some has insight and sometimes some just, somebody just need to get that, 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 that push to click on that light. So like some of the stuff that I'm sharing, it clicks a light. Do you be like, okay, I understand now. I can see, but sometimes a lot of people are still brain dead because they want to be in the world, but that's their choice. Like I'm saying, 
I said Black Panther is going to be something that's really going to, um, it, it's a movement that's going on now. It's something that's showing us, uh, I actually went to go see the movie yesterday, uh, the premiere, uh, me and my lady and a few others um, went to go see the movie and uh, it was a good movie. It was good. Um, and you seen how they, glad I'm on this, and you seen how they reacted. And I got to tell the, the sister that was the chief um, the chief uh, 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 guard or, or uh, the you know, the one, uh, I'm trying to get it out. But y'all know what I'm talking about, the chief guard. She, she played her part. She played her part and she did as she's supposed to. And this is something I want to share as well. If you notice, she was loyal to Wakanda. She was loyal to the country, to the rules of the country. That's what she was loyal to. She wasn't loyal to the person. She wasn't loyal to her man because she had a job which required more than her man. That came first. The country is a lot more important than one person. And, I, and I'm going to tell you the reason why I'm saying this now because it was something my stepfather told me, which I'm so thankful he did when I was at a young age. And that's one of the reasons why I made my move. And y'all can judge the way if y'all want. But I'm going to get to that as well. But she was loyal. And just like even though uh, Killmonger was supposed to be the new king, she had to stay loyal to that, that, that purpose. Because he was the king of the... She had to stay loyal to that purpose because she had to be there to take care of the thing. If she would have left, he could have just took over. But she seen that when... when um. Black Panther, I'm, I can't think of his name, the name or, or what I would like to say. But when, when he came back, that means that the fight wasn't over. But yet still, he said, man, I don't want to do this, man. Y'all go ahead and get him like that. And the other boy, he, the other brother on Get Out, he just wanted to be loyal because he did what Black Panther and his father didn't do, which was kill the, uh, kill, um, you know, the foreigner, kill him because of what he did to his family. So he was loyal to him for that. That's where his heart was. He was loyal and he understood. And to be truthful, I understood what Killmonger, but his mindset was totally on a whole day. He was on the, he was on the wrong side of the balancing scale. I understand him. And I and, and you know what? And, and believe me, I totally understand the concept. I totally understand it. But his mind was on the wrong side of the balancing scale. If it was on a different angle, I could agree because there's a lot of clues in that movie. And I'm, I just shared one with you right then. It's a lot of clues that's going on. And that's one of the clues right there that's happening right now. Now, we may not be doing it, but it's happening spiritually. Spiritually, it's happening. Thank you, Almighty, for letting it come out the way it's coming out. Because I hadn't even thought of that. It's just coming out the way it came out. But um, I'm going to tell you. Um, he played the boy, the brother played his part. The brother, even though, you know, he came with vengeance and anger and stuff like that, the brother played his part. But if his mindset wasn't so on a, the negative and revenge and stuff, I believe he would have made a good king. Because uh which calm if you if you look at it, Black Tim Panther would have been dead. If one for if it weren't for uh 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 uh, uh, uh Forrest Whitaker, Black Panther would he would have been dead. And when you look at them, and when you look at when you look at certain things, when you don't have a chance to come back, it's gone. It's gone. When you don't have that chance to come back, it's gone. You he would have been gone, and then what would have happened then? Think about it. Think about it. I mean, a lot of us is praising, and and, and I'm not saying us on the praising tip, but that's actually what's going on. Understand the movie is a tool for your spirituality. It's your tool to grow. It's your tool to, to, for all of us as people that has been acting like fools in the street, acting like fools in front of the camera, acting like fools out here for the, for the, uh, this other race, for these other people that's dominating over us. This is a tool to let us see ourselves in a better light. You know, this is a tool. So once we look at these tools and use them for the correct purpose, we can grow as a people. It's a lot of spiritual insight in that movie. But you have to don't just look at it as entertainment. 
Look how they work together. And look where they came from. They came from being just about themselves. It was all about themselves. Even though we didn't see all the, you seen other nations that were there. It was other nations there, but they still was amongst themselves. You got to listen to the movie and understand the difference of what's going on. Everybody out here talking about some black, 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 which I'm not a, I don't like saying black or black is nothing but a color. White is nothing but a color. But the melanated brother, the melanated beings, we are all different, but we're supposed to come under one umbrella. That one umbrella is the spiritual and universal law. That's what the world is going to be governed by. But yet and still, in every culture, in every country, we all have our own, um, not rituals and stuff, our own way of life. As long as you're going according to the laws of the mind, well, I say my eye, commandments, the laws. As long as you go into those laws, those spiritual and universal, that's what I meant to say, those spiritual and universal laws, as long as you keep in and doing those spiritual and universal laws, everybody else has their own traditions within the laws, within those laws. And those laws are our tools to better ourselves to become more enlightened. And this is where our spirituality grows and lies. When I say lies, I mean like this is where it's at. And if you understand, if you don't understand what I'm saying, this will give you the key to Jeremiah 31, verse 31 through 37. The key verse is 33. That's the key verse. We all will know the creator according to his universal and spiritual laws because they're already in your DNA. Some of us has forgotten about them. You know what I'm saying? So it's so much that I can say I'm into 36 and I'm not trying to go to 40. So um, that's mainly, I just really wanted to, uh, uh, I was in the shower, tools came to my mind. And I said, I had to say this because a lot of people are worshiping the movie. Don't forget, it's still a Marvel's comic movie. But this is something the creator has given. I'm saying it for, to, to me. The creator has given to for us to see something in a spiritual light. Something for us to grow from. Because a lot of people are not seeing the truth because everybody is out here fighting and bickering about something they shouldn't be fighting and bickering about. They should be getting better and stronger in the truth that they have with what they're growing in. Excuse me. So use your tools wisely. Get in your tools and study. And once you study, become stronger and become more reliable, reliable and more aware and the more negative you is you all you're doing is pulling you're pulling that pillar as i was saying you're pulling you know if you can touch and agree on things that's needed this will start to bring us together touch and agree on things that's needed you know that brother didn't have to didn't have to take in uh chikanda uh chikanda i think his name he didn't have to take him in he could have left him out there to die but he said, life for life. He was honorable. Just like when he got beat, he said, your people need you. Give up. Your people need you. That's love. You know what I'm saying? Not hate, that's love. Even though they wanted to challenge, challenge in good faith. That's what love is about. We all don't agree. But we can agree to disagree and still have love for each other. So just sharing that, I'm in the 38 minutes right now. I want to thank you for your time, your patience, and your listening near. I thank you. And I, number one, I thank the creator. I thank the all of alls. I thank the anointing spirit. A lot of people say Holy Spirit. I like to say the anointing spirit for dwelling within me and for me to share and to give and to do the information that's always given. And I hope you're taking this information that I'm, I'm saying. I hope you're striving with it. And I hope you understand the things that I'm saying. Otherwise, I love you. I'm going to go out with, appreciate you, thank you. Keep leading God me that I can help leading God others. And all that you say and do, let it come through me and to all those out there. And also, I'm thankful and I'm appreciative of all you with me and having me to share and do with the people. And I thank you, Almighty. In your only word, spirit, and all things we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And don't you forget, I am that Mikael in Daniel chapter 12, verses 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's me. 
showing the holy people who they're really supposed to be, waking them out of the dead beds, which is really in their heads. For all of you who's living in the new, this is for you. I'm the same Mikael in Revelation 12, battling that red dragon where Satan dwell, who deceiveth the whole world but prevaileth not, because the horn is blown without a doubt. This was prophesied for you to see that that Mikael is really me. Appreciate you. Love you. I thank you for your time, your patience, and your listening there. Peace and love. Peace. Peace.